Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. It's just about the middle of December now, and it was 70 degrees today. That's just really, really unusual for me to deal with as someone who grew up in the Northeast. Uh, it's really something unusual anyway. It's not usually 70 degrees in December. Uh, unless you're more than a little bit further south than where I am in the D.C. area. So it's a little tricky to, to keep thinking Christmassy uh, when it's t-shirt and shorts weather. Uh, but we're going to keep going that way because Christmas is just a couple weeks away now. And uh, th there's more Christmas stuff to be had. Uh, today... Uh, it's another unlikely Christmas movie. Uh, it's one that, that, oddly, it seems a lot of people haven't seen. Uh, I know it didn't play exceptionally well, uh, do exceptionally well in theaters when it, when it uh, came out in 1994. Uh, I saw it when it came out in 1994, and I absolutely loved it. The name of the movie is The Ref. Uh, it's directed by Ted Demi. It's got Dennis Leary and Kevin Spacey in it. It's also got uh, Judy Davis in it, and a whole lot of uh, other character actors, a lot of familiar faces, a couple of people who show up in it before uh, they started showing up in a lot of places. Uh, J.K. Simmons is in it, uh, who went on to do a bunch more things. But the key people in it are uh, Dennis Leary's character, Gus. Uh, and, and Gus is... Gus is not a good guy. He's, he's a burglar. He's a criminal. Uh, and he's uh, in the middle of uh, committing a crime when the rest of his crew leaves him. And he's left having to take hostages, which is something that was not part of the plan. And the hostages he takes are Lloyd and Carolyn. Uh, and that's Kevin Spacey and Judy Davis. Uh, and they are a married couple who uh, have plans for the holidays. Their entire extended family is coming over for the holidays. So this is not a simple hostage situation. Uh, they're also a hugely dysfunctional married couple. The movie plays out with some of the most fantastic banter, uh, snarky commentary, uh, Dennis Leary as this guy who would just rather shoot everyone, having to instead become basically their relationship counselor. Which is absolutely hilarious as it plays out. And a lot of that is because we're talking about a cast that delivers dialogue utterly fantastically. Their timing is impeccable, they play off of each other wonderfully, and the simple setting, it's all pretty much set in this house, uh, and a lot of it happens in just a couple of different rooms, allows the characters to really come through. Now, since it came out in 1994 and didn't do very well, uh, it's become one of those movies that shows up on a whole lot of best films you've never seen lists. And it rightly shows up in those places. And it is a fantastic movie that if you like witty, clever, well-done dialogue and characters that stick with you long after uh, the movie's over, it's the kind of movie you want to watch. Uh, if you want to see both Dennis Leary and Kevin Spacey do their thing as good as they do it anywhere else, if not slightly better than some places, check this movie out. Uh, it's been around for a long time now. It's on Amazon. Uh, it shows up on Netflix every now and then. Uh, check it out. Watch it. Enjoy it because it's, it's a very enjoyable film. It's a little bit of a dark comedy at times. Uh, there's a lot of crime that goes on. There's a lot of messed up family relationships that go on. But the humor and, and the insight that comes from that humor uh, is, I think, something that everyone can learn a little bit from and 
well, Dennis Leary. No one delivers dialogue and, and anger uh, like Dennis Leary does. Uh, so check it out. Uh, if you have seen it, let me know down in the comments uh, and we can talk more about it. Uh, I, I, it's another one that I'm going to have to rewatch because it's been a while since I've seen it, but I still remember some of these scenes so well. Uh, and it's just such a fun movie overall uh, that, that I think more people should see it. So if you've seen it, let me know. We'll get more people to see it. If you like the stuff I talk about, give me a thumbs up right down there. If you're subscribed, thank you for being subscribed. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe so that you can get notified when these things come out. If you know anyone else who would be interested in the stuff that I talk about, share this or one of my other videos with them and we'll get them involved in the conversation. That's it for today. I'm Kier. Guess I'll see you tomorrow.